Alright, hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today, we're gonna be filming a video that's a little funny, that's a little bit entertaining, this is where I'm spilling all the tea. But I was waiting until I was fully finished or something before I filmed this, so today I will be talking about my first year of college and the truth about Wesley College. Because, yeah, like, we're just, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna spill the tea and I'm gonna tell you what really goes down because... The shit sometimes hits the So, fan. before I even go into my experience at college, I'm going to give you some dry facts about what Wesley College is. So, at first I thought it was a PWI, and a PWI is a private white institution, but it actually isn't. It's actually a private liberal arts college. And at schools like that, they focus on undergraduate education, more attention on students, more hands-on. So, like, those would be, like, the Socratic seminars that we all have to attend our freshman year. And they, um, they focus on the liberal arts curriculum, which prepares students broadly for the job that they want. So, like, at schools like that, they mainly focus, they mainly put you in classes that are going to benefit you for your career. And, like, Sorry if like I looked that. down at my notebook. I just wrote down stuff that I wanted to make sure that I hit when I talk about my first year of college today. So, boom. So, before I even committed to Wesley College, I was held by not going to DSU. So if you're not unfamiliar with what DSU is, it's Delaware State University. It's an HBCU school that's maybe 10 minutes away from Wesley College. I was like, yeah, I want to go there. Like, literally, that's all. That's the only school that I'd known all my life. And, like, once I came to Delaware and I toured Wesley College, I literally fell in love. Like, I was like, yep, I want to go here. Like, mom paying for the deposit today. And, yeah, like, and then they were also offering me a good amount of money because, listen, I was not trying to have hundred thousand dollars in student loans like that was not the case so they were they gave a good amount of money to us so like it's not too much on me and i won't have to pay back that much in um in student okay, loans so i fully committed to Wesley college um i went to commitment day i put on the deposit and yeah and i'm gonna be honest my opinion of Wesley college is different than every other every every person every other person's opinion of Wesley college so like i'm not gonna so it just, yeah, everyone's, everyone's opinion of Wesley College is different, and this is just my opinion and my, with my experiences. And yeah, so take it for what like, it is. I literally even did a whole signing day to be like, oh, like, I joined a cross-country team. I had a letter of intent. That's what signing day is. Basically, it's saying that you're committing to the school to play a sport. And I had it on my birthday, which was kind of cute. It's a cute concept. I looked cute on the day. And yeah. So I just thought it was hot shit. So I was like, yeah, like, I want to do my signing day on my birthday. I thought it was the best shit on earth. Because I'm also, the rest of my other friends that were athletes were doing signing days. So I was like, bitch, I want, I want a moment to shine Okay, too. so now, after I went to the commitment day, put on my deposit, I joined the Facebook group chat, the Facebook page of the class of 2023. And, bitch, when I tell you from that Facebook group chat, we literally had a Facebook group chat. We had a group me. We had a Snapchat group chat. We had an iMessage group chat. There were literally different group chats every day. And, like, every day someone needed to be added to the group chat. And, yeah, like, it just every day someone, someone new was like, oh, can you add me? Oh, can you add me? Can you add me? Like, I don't have an issue because, I mean, sometimes I would add them. I don't have a problem because I'm nice to everybody. But, yeah. And it's funny how I'm the, the people that were in that group chat, I'm barely friends with them now. Like, I'm friends with some of them, but not all of them. So, um... Yeah, like, I'm cool with them, but we're not, like, friends, if, yeah. <laughs> now, I'm gonna talk about what happened my first semester of college and break it down to, like, pros and cons. Of like the good stuff that happened and the bad stuff that happened. So, all of the pros of my first semester was that um I did cross country, so I was able to make more friends a lot easier than like me just going to class. And also from the group chat, I had known a lot of the kids that were gonna be on campus, and I was able to like talk to them if I needed anything. Um, I did modeling for the first time, and that literally, so like I modeled for my school's team, like they were on like the modeling team. That pushed me out of my comfort zone a lot because like. I always felt super insecure about my walk, and, like, they kind of helped me do that. Um, another pro is that, um, 
I just was able to make friends. I kind of was just like flowing between friend groups. I wasn't really, I was shy at first, but I wasn't that shy. Like I was approachable. Um, and I also made senior friends, like friends that were older than me and that shit helped a lot towards the end of like the first semester. Cause like, bitch, I have someone to vent to and they have someone and had someone to give me advice on like how to not fail out of college. Fail out of so college. now some of the cons of my first semester of college is that I took 18 credits now. Um, 18 credits is basically at my school, and we do take six classes, which is typically the full schedule. So you have class Monday through Friday, and you have class, like, every day. So at the time, I was like, oh yeah, I can handle this, it doesn't seem like a lot. When I tell you, I wanted to cry every day, I wanted to cry. And, like, I was like, I'm not gonna drop any classes, I'm just gonna take the opportunity and just roll with it. Luckily, I passed the first semester, but 18 credits was intense, especially with my being a first-time student. And also, um, during the second month of school, around like this, around like let's say October, September, I ended up getting a really bad skin rash, and like I was out of school, and it's like something I was just in something in the air, and I was out of school for about two weeks, and like that coming back, like being behind at work. Especially as a college student, it's totally different than being behind at work as a high school student. Cause like, as a college student, you have projects, you have deadlines. As a high school student, you can sometimes ask for extensions, but most college professors don't don't normally give extensions. So I literally had to like try to do my work every day. I ended up having to reach out, out to the student recession student resource center to ask for help and to like plan, make a plan as to what needed to get done each day because I was now some stuff. highlights of my first semester of college is that. One, let's do it in order. One, I went to a laundry party. And I think everyone knows what laundry is. And, like, I went to a laundry party and I bought really cute underwear and I had a fucking blast. I would have entered some footage from that, but y'all would never look at me the same. Um, they went to a laundry party. I met a senior friend. Well, they're juniors. Well, they're seniors now. But I met junior friends and I absolutely love them to the death of me. They are literally, I love them. They kept me in line. They literally were the ones that were like keeping me together. Like, Damani, why are you not doing homework? Damani, why are you sitting here doing nothing? Damani, take out a book and read. Damani, why are you not? Like, why are you not doing work? So they kept me in check, which I respect them till this day, and I forever will thank them for keeping me in line because I feel though, like if they were not there, I would have flopped my first semester of school. Next, I went to my first ever cross country conference, and that was literally such a fun time. And like, mind you, if you don't know me. I love cross country, I love running in general, so the fact that I went to my first conference as a, as a collegiate athlete, it was a really big astonishment for me, and I'm, I'm gonna probably insert a clip, insert a picture from it, or probably put the clip in this video. Um, it was literally one of the best experiences of my of my life. Um, I met, I literally became really good friends with this, with my one team member, she's a female. We became really good friends, and ever since then, we've been really close to each other ever since, and I literally love her to pieces, she is my love and i love her so much i hope she watches this video so that she knows that she gets a little special shout out but yeah and then my first semester of college like oh another highlight is um i'm out of the first time and i did a runaway and i've never in my life really expected me to model because i thought it was always too short but i did a runway and i actually was so gassed people were like oh my god go to money like people like learned who i was from that fashion show i mean it pushed me out of my element 100 percent because the outfits i was wearing Yikes. I wasn't bad, but, like, I was out of my comfort zone. But, yes, it pushed me out of my comfort zone, and I'm glad that I did it, because, like, I made friends from doing that that modeling show, and I met, like, long-term people that I know for a fact that I'm going to be friends with. So, that was a highlight of my first semester okay, of college. Okay, so now, after the first semester, I got a little job or whatever, and then I was back to school for the second semester. So now, the pros and cons of the second semester is that it was a lot better because I feel like I can handle myself a lot more and I knew what was going on and I would expect. But it still threw me some curveballs. Some minor major curveballs and, and I just had to, you know, knock them off So the some of the pros of my second semester is that one, I got to have all the friendships that I had from the first semester. And I just got to nurture them, just just got to like was able to like fine tune those friendships and make them a lot better and a lot stronger to like what they are today um also i just felt more prepared for school i kind of just felt like more ready i felt like i can handle anything 
at this point. And sorry, my eyelashes are itchy. And third, I just think that like the environment felt better. Like I guess because when you're a first year college student, it feels a little crazy. But when it's your second semester, you don't feel as crazy. It feels a little bit calmer, but not like totally there yet. Just, just a little so bit now, some cons of my second semester was that I got cut short because you know Miss Rona had to mess up everything. And had to, yeah, so basically, I ended up ending school early, like, I ended school, I was only in school for, like, what, two weeks after winter break, and then I literally, no, that was after, two weeks after spring break, is when Miss Vona happened, and then now I was homeschooling, um, then another thing is that, like, it was just a lot of, I don't want to say drama, but just unnecessary bullshit that just happened, that just occurred, just for dumb stuff, or, like, yeah, just a lot of unnecessary things that were going on that didn't really need to happen and didn't really need to occur. They just, you know, you can't have, you can't control everything. So I just, it is what it is. Um, by the grace of God, I passed my second semester of college. Thank you, Jesus. And my GPA was a lot higher than my last one, so I was very proud of myself at that moment. So yeah, those were my two experiences between like my first semester and my second semester. I'm probably gonna do more constructed videos of like events that happened throughout but here's just a general gist of like what happened and like how i felt between my first and second okay semester. so now it's time to talk about Wesley college as a whole so as a whole if i was to rate the school one out of ten i'd give it a six and a half like it's not a bad school it just has its issues like any other college does um let's start with the food so sometimes the food is good sometimes food is bad and i know friends that don't even eat in the school cafeteria at all and they just get food out or they're just like order food on their own time which listen from what i've had i think i'm gonna start doing that because that food was not Hex the, is the teachers it. the teachers are i mean i haven't really had any shitty teachers i have had some difficult teachers but i really haven't had any shitty teachers to be like oh like they don't help but i've been lucky enough to have teachers that are doing really to help me if i reach out and email them but I've also met some difficult teachers that are just dicks about situations and don't really want to be good for the benefit of the doubt. They kind of just rather be a little bit stringent, a little bit difficult. But uh, yeah, that's about it for the teachers. Um, I actually love my teachers. They were a really big help, especially when it came for like scholarships and doing resumes. So now the stuff. school size itself, it's a pretty small school. Um, when I took my tour, I literally, you could tour the school within like, I think it was 20 minutes or something. So it's really small. So, like, you could wake up late and still get on time for class, so that's a good thing, but I commute, so I'd still have time to, get, time to get to school on time, even if I left my house late, I'd still be able to get to class on time. So, the school size is small, and it gives you a way to, like, get to know everyone, because it's such a small school, and it's such a tight-knit area, but the only downfall is that it's an open campus, so technically, anyone can walk on campus. Now, the dorms, since I don't really live on campus, I don't stay on campus all the time. I tend to go back to my own place where my grandparents live. But the dorms seem to be pretty decent from what I can see from when I've stayed on campus. Um, they're not too, too, too bad, but they're also not the best. They're okay. They could be a lot better. They could do some improvements. But yeah, the dorms aren't bad. They're just, they're there. Like, they're they're okay. They're no, not terrible. Um, I know you're not supposed to talk about this, but the parties at Westy College can get a little... They're not even bad. I've they're not bad. They've been I've I've they're not bad. I've been to a couple, they're not bad. It's just you need to know the right people to get into the party. That's the thing. Like you can't like at some frat houses you can't just walk in and expect to walk in and not get looked at. You need to either be with someone that knows the person whose house it's held at or know someone in the party before because like they're just looking at you like, Who the fuck are you? Like why are you here? You don't belong here. So it's better off to go to party with a friend. Or at least someone that knows the people that are in the party. The sports teams at Wesley College, they're not, we're actually not that bad, to be honest. We're, compared to a lot of other D3 schools, we're actually pretty decent. Um, it's just that we don't always get the credit that we deserve for being a D3 school and having pretty decently just good overall, athletes. overall, my experience at Wesley College is something that, like, I feel that wasn't terrible compared to what other people say. I feel like it was a pretty decently good experience. I'd still like to school 6 out of 10. So today, that was basically me talking about my first experience at college and the truth about my school and like what truly goes on. If you want me to go in more in detail videos about different experiences that I've had, comment down below. Let me know so that I can be pumping out the good the content that you guys want to watch. 
So then here it is. Um, I will see you guys next week. I will. I will see you guys in the next video. And um, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned. Stay tuned for my videos. Bye.